Firstly, you'll need an altitude azimuth mount, motorised mount. Uh, this is the Star Discovery. Um, it's a SynScan unit, so it's a go-to. Uh, thousands of stored objects. It's got a clutch on the altitude, but no clutch on the azimuth. It's got a dovetail screw to attach telescopes and cameras and a small battery, battery pack inside which is not brilliant, not brilliant but it works for a couple of hours it does eat some batteries there um, what I do with mine is the tripod stays set up all the time it needs to be levelled, very level for it to track well um, so I leave mine set up as it was and I marked outside I've marked the patio where the three points uh, meet the ground it saves a little bit of time yeah, so I don't have to level up the mount every time um, so yeah that's uh, my, my mounts the second essential thing you need for Alt AZ photography is a camera. This is my 1300D with its standard lens, which is 55 or 12, 18 to 55 millimeter zoom. Um, and you need a way of connecting it to the to the mount. So you'll need a dovetail bar and a camera mount screw. I put a little extra bracket on here, so it gives me the option of mounting the camera in two positions. There are other things available on the internet which you can mount the camera in any angle you like but I do things cheaply so I make my own bits and pieces. Simply screw the camera to the bracket, tighten up the back bolt Then I will lay, line up the camera by eye, slide it in and tighten it up on the mount. That's it. That's all you need. It's worth having a talk with you, obviously, to see what you're doing. But that is the basic kit. That and a computer to process your soft to uh, process your images is it there's a few extra things that I'll uh, suggest are worth having but that's the basics a power pack for the mount the little batteries inside the battery pack on the mount don't last that long so this is a 17 amp hour jump start battery pack it's got a torch jump start for your car if his batteries are flat, two cigarette lighter points and it came with the right lead for the mount which is very handy. That will last you all night long no problem at all. Also the additions to the camera. A couple of spare batteries. Never have enough battery power. Um, they don't, you know, one battery lasts you a couple of hours, but if you want to do long session then it's worth having a couple of spare batteries and a good memory card with plenty of space on it, unless you're recording to a laptop or an iPad or something like that. But if that fails, you still, still need something to record your images. A remote bulb can come in very handy for doing longer than the camera allows exposures. Um, the camera normally allows up to 30 seconds. The bulb you can go as long as you like. And with wire filled, you can get a couple of minute exposures. Dew shields, it's very damp out there time to, from time to time. So you need to protect your lens in some way. Very simple flower pot with a hole cut in it and a sleeve put on. The 
fits perfectly over the lens and that will keep your lens protected for a good long time. Um, it saves loads of time in uh, demisting lenses. Uh, extra lenses, they're not very expensive on eBay. This one is a 135mm lens. I think that cost me about £50. Also I bought a 210mm zoom lens. I think that was even cheaper. I think that was uh, £45, something like that. The dew caps are brilliant, brilliant bits of kit. So you don't even need a telescope, just the extra, well you don't even need the extra lenses for wide field. Your bog standard lens on the camera is perfectly good and will give you some fantastic shots. I'll put a couple of photos on the end of this video just to show what I've captured with mine. I haven't been using the lenses that long, I've been mainly on the telescope, but I do intend to use the lenses far more.